So let's take this three-dimensional model and actually scale it down to an actual, actual three-dimensional printer area. Um, a small, low-cost three-dimensional printer uh, called the Makey Box has a 150 millimeter by 90 millimeter printing area. So uh, let's take this three-dimensional logo and scale it down to that printing area. So let's first just make a rectangle that shows us how big that is. So we'll see how small it is compared to this. So if we click the rectangle tool, I'm going to start on the origin, and I'm going to type in 150 comma 90, and hit enter, and notice it's now making a rectangle that is the, the maximum printing area limit for that small printer. So we have to scale down this logo to that size. So I'm going to select this, press the scale, and if I click on one of the upper the diagonals, um, I can scale the whole thing. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Press M to move it. Let's, let's move it a little bit closer to our, our area. So it's considerably smaller, but uh, still not quite small enough. So let me zoom in. Okay, we'll go back to scale. Click on one of the diagonal corners. And scale it down. Now we're getting close. Let's move this. Okay, so it looks like the way I have my triangle made, I'm going to have to rotate uh, this thing. So let's, oops, let's put it right there. I'm going to select the rotate command, and you need to make sure that that protractor that shows up is blue, so we're just going to rotate it on that horizontal plane. So I'm going to click on the left corner, uh, select again along that line, then I can uh, use this to rotate it over 90 degrees. Uh, we could even, just to make sure we do it exactly 90 degrees, type it in, or it looks like it snaps to that. So I'm going to just click the mouse button again. Now we have it rotated. I'm going to now press M to move this thing into our printable area. There we go. Okay, so just to kind of confirm that, I'm going to press the dimension tool, snap to this, and you can see that uh, our logo now is actually able to be printed in our three-dimensional printing area.